Hey guys, thanks very much for watching these videos. Uh, LSU here. Now, uh, before we talk about uh, one of the most interesting charts right now in the market, I just want to say something very quickly as to why we make these videos. Uh, the great philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once said in one of his books, he said, my ambition is to say in 10 paragraphs what most people say in an entire book. So what, what I try to do in these videos is tell you in just a few minutes, just a video of about a few, five minutes, for example, what other people spend an hour long just talking about, all right? So that's really why most people like to watch, it, watch these videos. Um, so what I want to talk about in this video is the, uh, the chart that actually most people are not even paying attention to. And that's because most people are not seeing this chart I'm going to show you. Um, let me just explain to you. The first chart is what's happening in the stock market right now. Take a look at this, for example. This is the chart of the S&P 500. S&P 500 has had a tremendous rally, very powerful rally, right? Now, um, certainly so far, most folks seem to be under the impression that, you know, that's it. The bear market's gone. The, the crash, you know, the, the previous crash that is basically finished, and that's it. We're, we're off to good times. That, that, that basically, this chart proves to most people, essentially, that we're back into the bull market. You know, we're back into, um, you know, the major rally has essentially resumed, although it, there has been a bit of a pullback, right? But here's the thing. Um, there is one chart. Just leave that, leave that chart for a second. Um, there is actually one chart right now that is casting a big shadow of doubt on the stock market. And essentially, I would say this chart is calling BS on the entire rally we're seeing on the stock market. What is this chart? Let me, let me show it to you. Let's go to the second chart. Yeah. Guys, this chart is courtesy of Jason Geppert, who looks at market sentiment. And um, by the way, that's Jason Geppert of sentiment. What Jason does is he looks at the sentiment of the broad market and what the dumb money is doing, what the smart money is thinking. All right. Now, this is a dumb money versus smart money confidence in the stock market. The red line is a dumb money. The blue line is a smart money. Smart money, we're talking about institutions, the professional institutional traders and investors. Notice a great divergence is happening, guys. There's a massive divergence between what the dumb money is thinking and the smart money, right? And that is very telling, very telling. While the dumb money has been, has been recently extremely confident about the market rally, the stock market rally, the smart money has not been so confident. That has been, the, the blue line is falling. The dumb, the dumb money line, the red line, has been rallying going higher. So um, this, this chart should be warning us. It's warning us that perhaps there's a lot of exuberance, a lot of maybe too much exuberance. In fact, if we just go to the next chart, a recent, um, a recent reading on the fear and greed index, courtesy of this particular, um, this particular chart you see here, went into the greed territory. In fact, just a week ago, the reading on this fear and greed index was in the 72 region. Now it's about 63, but nonetheless, it's still in the extreme territory. Look, and if we just go back to the previous one just for a moment, yeah. Um, guys, bottom line is this. Yes, there is this divergence right now between dumb money and smart money. However, we should be careful. By itself, this chart does not mean that the rally in the stock market is going to crash. Okay? It does not mean hope. It doesn't mean that suddenly the market's going to go right all the way down and crash immediately back to the December's lows. It doesn't mean that, no. Actually, the market can stay irrational. Uh, as There's a famous phrase, the market can remain more irrational then people can stay solvent. And that's true. The market is irrational and can stay even more irrational and continue rallying higher. So that means, guys, that, market, that stock market rally we just saw a few moments ago, that, can, that rally can still continue. Okay? That can continue going higher. For example, if the stock market closes above the highs of Thursday, the highs of just the, the last Thursday we had, if it goes above that, there's a, great, there's a great likelihood we could actually breach that territory. We might even go much further higher. All right, so be very careful. This rally can still continue blasting right through, go higher. Um, but nonetheless, this chart, the chart of the dumb money versus smart money, this should be warning us, warning us that something is not quite right with the overall market. And if you just, if you just leave that for a second, basically what I think is that that dumb money versus smart money chart essentially is calling BS in the whole market and basically saying, you know what, that, that rally pretty soon will fall like a house of cards. Uh, potentially in the next few weeks, maybe in the next few months. Uh, all right, guys, so very interesting situation here on the market. Um, and guys, if this video has helped, please give it a thumbs up, and also please subscribe for future videos. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys in the next video.